Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to continue working on part 10 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the last video, we were able to add in the roof for the second floor, the garage, and the foyer. Now we're going to continue working on this. What I want to do is to add windows now all the way to the, to the second floor, so the stairs area. And I want it to be a corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first floor and add a glass from there. So I'm going to add a glass from here and right here. And then I'm just going to use curtain wall like so. And then curtain wall again on this side. And as much as possible, we could just pull this one later on. Go to modify and click on cut geometry. We need to click the wall first and then the curtain wall. Wall and then curtain wall. And then once you do, it will look like this. After that, we can pull this one all the way to the second floor. And what I want to do is to have it securely there. So we need to cut the ge geometry again from the wall to the curtain wall. And then here, because we have this one right there, we can now just manipulate the size. I'm going to add in the design for this one. So I'm going to use the level one and then I'll just push it up so that we could just cover this one up with that design. What I can also do is to do a sweep and then from that sweep, I want to push it all the way to this level so that this one will be covered and then this one will have its own design. So now I'm thinking of just doing that and see how it will look. And then I think much better way is to do the, the first floor and then just pull it up. And then if we check the second floor, at least we can see how it will look, how we line up. So we can do that as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on architecture, click on component, model in place, and then look for generic model. This will be generic model number 11. And then from here, we could extrude it from the second floor and then after that let's change the material so as you remember we have paint let's use and duplicate paint and then this will be paint number 10 click on OK there's something wrong with this so we just need to modify and then rename it the name is where it's already in use so that means we already have paint 10 so now let's do paint 11 click apply and then OK and then from here, let's select thick line from the edges right here. And then delete this. And then now trim and extend.
and then trim and extend right here and then now use the line to create something that looks like this AL to align it from the corner and then from the corner there and now let's see how it looks and I want to see it in 3D so from here we can now pull it up like so and then pull it this one for the thickness and because we set the thickness I want to maintain that thickness so I think this one will be good enough and then we need to add in another one right here so create like extrusion and then pick this wall and then after that create same thing and it will be paint 11 at least I want to maintain 300 I think I was able to create 300 from there so I'm just estimating the thickness and then from that thickness now we can expand the wall height and width and then here let's push this one back like so AL and then AL like there and then as you can see it looks like that and then we could expand the height right there as well so AL from the height here and to the here so from the height and this one as well here as well align it from this height and to the walls as well and then here let's pull this one down and then push this one at the side as well so now we should go to our south elevation so that we could push this one farther enough and then here pull this one down so for this roof I don't know why it went up it's probably when I align it so we could just pull this one perfectly on the edge and then this one we need to make it corner so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to flip this one going there and then flip this one going there we need to remove this corner right here I want it to completely without any of the wall so now we could just push this one out and then connect it like so so now this is from the edge and then this is from the edge now if we see it in 3D, it will look like that. And knowing that this is all the way down, 
let's pull this one all the way down as well. And then here, we could pull this one up as well. But let's cut this geometry as well. And then the curtain one. And then I'm going to align it from this wall or this height. So now this is looking nice. I don't know if we're going to make this one a corner, if we're going to make it thicker, but I just want to add a window right here, perfect for this size here. We could surround this with a nice design as well, if we want to. We can change this material right here for the front. So it's up to us to decide. And then this wall face as well, we can change this. I want to change this to a wood for this face. So we could do that as well. And then here, we could do something as well. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go to paint. And I'm going to paint this part. I want something wood. So wood shake. Just to add a different. What would be good here? I wanted to add in on this face. Another face would be right about this. And also onto this face. I just want to add all the faces right here. So we need to add this corner as well. So that's added. I want I just want to verify that. So I'm just going to change the visual of this so that I know. So let's change the Transparency, click apply, okay. So that's good. I want to add this one right here. And then this one is something that I made a mistake. So we could just remove paint right here on this side. So that's perfect. So now, what I want to do is to model something right here as well. Um, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to add this design as well. And I want it to be all the way right here. So here, what I'm going to do is add something different as well. Instead of just one big one, we could put in three. I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and then I'm going to add three of them or whatever's applicable right here. I think four will be good and then use cut geometry. I 
I think that will give more character to the building. So that looks very good. And then we just need to change the materials for this one. So I'm going to use paint again and then add something that we haven't used yet. Maybe this one we haven't. So I'm just going to set it up in right here. We can put in whatever we want here. So at least that one, we could add something different. But the look of this one, and especially once we add mullions, it will look very nice. And then now, let's add in something right here. Um, I'm planning to use sweet now here and I want to wrap it around onto this side or wrap it around up to here this will be the cutoff so it's it will be another model in place generic model click on sweep pick path and then we need to pick the path mostly all of this and then right about here now we need to connect them all together especially on this one let's try here if it's connected and then here as well Let's delete this and then trim and connect them. After that, edit profile and then let's begin adding our design. Maybe 300 by 300 will be good enough. And then let's add in a notch at the top there. Delete this one. This will be around 100. And then here it could be 20. And then let's add two of them. Okay. And then SL. And then TR. And then now make sure to add the material. We could use paint 11. Click finish and then finish and then finish. Now it will look like that. That looks very nice. Having it there looking like that. So now we need to change the material right here. So what I'm going to do is paint again. So let's click on paint. And then choose a material that we haven't used yet. Let's 
we have a new sash, I believe. So I'm just going to select sash like that. And then let's use this one as well right there. And then now we need to increase this one. I want it to be right about the height of this one. So let's check the dimension. So this is 2900. So we need to change this one, edit, and then the height should be 2900. Click apply and then OK. Now this looks perfect, but the thing is it's hanging at the top there. So we need to pull it back a little bit. 2800. And then what we could do is let's adjust this one instead because I don't want anything to be showing at the top there, especially the rod there. So we're going to adjust that. So edit in place. Select this one, edit sweep, and then select profile. edit profile and then here we just need to increase it from here it was 300 before let's make this one 500 and then click finish I just want to double check what we did So it didn't change. Let's do 400. There we go. We increase that. And we just need to go south elevation and then just probably to seven seventy five. Perfect. And then now the width. Let's increase the width. So for the width, let's just add 6500. And then for the material, I want to change this one. So the panel pattern, frame, and the trim should be different. So here I'm going to choose wood again. oak and then for the frame material and then the trim material let's change that to metal I'm going to use bronze and then you could just copy and paste it from here click apply and then OK and then here we could just align it AL, align it to the corner right here. Look at it at 3D to see what we've got. So we made this one metal. This one should be metal frame as well. So 
So frame material should be bronze. Trim should be bronze. Door handle. This one should be different material as well. But another wood. Let's use this. Apply and then OK. And then here we could maybe increase the height. But I don't know if that looks nice though. We'll see late, later on if we could just change that one. But so far it, it's looking good the way it, the way we managed to design this, especially the the way the the small windows are made. And then later on, we're going to finalize the grids for this, the curtain grid. So thank you for watching and I hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.